moment of holiday <gasps> bliss. Hello. Uh. Oh. Hello. Good morning. We can help with that. From travel insurance. Good morning. Friends, We're heading to Cumbernauld. Search post office travel uh. or visit your local branch. Just watching these. Watching out for these indicators. Ah. Uh. You know, some dumplings don't do it. You want to speak with a real person. And any of you are Hey, good morning and welcome to the channel. Um, what's happening? Well, I got a real bad attack of hay fever last night. Uh, I nearly sneezed my self apart. Shut up! Um, it was like pretty, pretty grim, yeah. And it's because I went for a walk yesterday uh, down South Alawa and it was in a field I suppose it was just probably because of that uh, you know walking in the deep grass and that oh that's an interesting position to take uh, I would have stayed more over to the, the side of the road myself and I sneezed and sneezed. I went, I had a bath. That was the only kind of. It wasn't too bad. I was in the bath and I got back out again. Sneezing like fuck. Because I know, I, I suppose you're supposed to really wash. You know, does that get the pollen off you? Or it might be on your clothes. I don't know how. I don't know that much about pollen. I would need to do a bit more research about pollen. You know, like. I think this is the wrong way to go. I it should have went the other way. But the other way out of here is um, through St. Ninians and it there's like little mini roundabouts there that are I've got these I just don't think I prefer coming out this way. But I think this is slightly At longer. The roundabout yeah! takes the third exit Hello! To Hall Road. Bitch. So, um, oh yeah, fucking hell, I'm really feeling bad with a sea fever. You know, but it's, it's like every year I get it, so it's not, it's not like the first time I've ever had hay fever, you know? So we're heading down to Cumbernod, um, let's go on with this. Right. Green Corn Hills Roundabout, it looks very nice. You get on there. Some it does look It was um, quite enjoyable because I went on that Shut up! I went on that roundabout before they they did the the maintenance to it and it was like full of brambles and I was pretty grim like yeah but then they, about like a week or two later they came round that would be like a spring and they came round and tidied it all up and uh, and I haven't been on since but the ski rock round about I went on that after they tidied it up and it's looking much easier maybe they're doing it for me you know uh, so I can get get on the roundabout that's that's yeah that's probably what it is eh Anyway, I'm going to end this video once I got on the motorway. I was thinking about doing an old video when uh, coming all, but I've, got, I've actually got the dash cam on, so probably better using that. The problem with the phone is that, well, it gets a bit much for it, doesn't it? The data. Well, the data's the same, so if it, I don't even know what I'm trying to say here. Ooh. This is the worst roundabout in the world. Very, very busy. Very tricky. You have to watch, nobody's going to whack in the side of you. Because it's such as the, the makeup of this roundabout, it's like you're not sure where people are coming from, so you have to like, really keep an eye on things. More than... Well, you should always do that anyway, so I don't even know why I'm saying this. Just talking nonsense. It's actually 20 minutes to get to Cumbernauld from Bannockburn. Uh, so, we're doing a 
110 already, I'm even left to slip road. Oh. It's lovely, it's sunny, type of sunglasses. We're indicating to come join the carriageway. Indicate. Sunglasses on and relax. Down with that armrest. Armrest down, cruise control on. Well, I don't know if it's a good idea to put cruise control on because it's potentially busy. Now I'm getting shake off the steering wheel, which has been caused by I've got these cross climates on the front and they're getting changed this week. Oh god, I'm going up to Aberdeen on Wednesday. Maybe we better get them changed tomorrow. Uh, that may be a plan. Okay, I think I'll just keep doing this video right until I get to Cumbernauld. It's a 20 minute video, is that going to be too long? You see, I, I'm quite lazy, I don't... I'm not... Well, partly I'm not very good at editing. And the other thing is that... Well, the other thing is I'm not very good at editing. <laughs> so, like, that's why I do these, like, dummy videos. People, like, people who know how to edit and everyone will be looking at my house going, what a fucking incompetent moron. And you know what? It's so fucking... Thing that. And they might be right. Oh, the insulation boards on that van, the uh, pickup, uh, looks like a flat roofing type arrangement, I would say. Uh, insulation boards and felt on top, probably. And what we've got down here, we've got a tractor, and it's off the side of the road yet. What is it? No, it's a it's highway. I thought it was a tractor there in the distance. Well, obviously, uh, they all look the same. They're now doing 130 miles per hour, and they'll be about to be overtaken by a Kia, which must be doing about 150. Uh, must be really motoring. Oh no, they pulled in behind me. So there's no me get me to done. They've got to get me done for speed end, and they don't get done. That's the plan there. What? What the fuck do you mean? <coughs> <coughs> yeah, what the hell's going on? At least like, if I stop with the police, I'll just sneeze on them. And I, like, sneeze out the window. So I've got hay fever. River Carran, we just went over the River Carran. To the left is Bonnie Bridge. I mean, I like, I'm a bit busy today, but I like, I like wandering around, you know, like roundabouts and, or like woods, country places, but you know, the problem with the fever is, is uh, an issue. See that fucking thing, it keeps falling, it's, it keeps going back. I don't know what I'm going to do about that. The other one doesn't seem to do it. So I've got three of these holders. And... I don't know, maybe it's when I go for a bump or something. It just it comes down towards, so you end up looking. The problem is, when it goes forwards, it loses focus. And then you're looking at, oh, there's the ambulance. It loses focus, and then it's kind of like um, looking, not only is it looking at the sky too much, it's also lost focus. We're supposed to be doing 50 here, we're doing 130. The cross climates, they're rated to 125. It's a bit of a problem. I'm going to get some eco mentalists going nuts at me. Slowed in a bit. Right. Which is a problem. Problem, problem, problem. Right, on the left, we got Kilsyth and Bonnie Bridge. No, is that really Bonnie Bridge? No, that was Denny. Sorry, I apologise. When I was saying that was Denny, I was getting them mixed up. On the left there, back there, it was Denny, it wasn't Bonnie Bridge. Bonnie Bridge is further over. That's why I've just realised because the sign says Bonnie Bridge. I'm getting the two of them mixed muddled up. Bonnie Bridge, Denny. 
Uh, uh, it's a story about my family from Stirling. One of them, one of them got caught shagging around and, and busted up the Protestant uh, moral code and got uh, banished from the family and uh, they, they got, well, got dumped in hacks. So I'd love to go to Hags and see what it's like. Because I know about being banished. I've been banished from my family, so I know all about that. Um, it quite interesting to go and see just how awful it is in Hags. Uh, well, I might even move there. You know, I might buy the best house in Hags. You know, it should be quite cheap. The only cheap place to buy a house in the country is Wick, I think. Because, like, up north, I was met this guy yesterday, and he was doing this anti-English rhetoric. We didn't realise that I wasn't a gnat. So it was like, he was going, oh, oh, the English bought all the houses, you know, up in the Highlands. And I said, well... And it, it's that a thing that, because they... One mile, take they, exit six on the all right, all right. to an Because they buy them. Keep left. That <coughs> nobody else can buy them, you know, the Scottish people. It's like, you don't fight. The, the hierarchical structure, you fight up and down, not across. So, like, to try to say that English is different from Scottish, it's not. It's just, we're the same. Like, British, we're white. For the most part, we're. What do you call it? Caucasians or something. British. It's like, so, oh, I'm English. But what he really means is, I'm useless twat and I can't afford to buy a house because I've fucked about all my life. That's what he really means. You know, so, like, that means, like, wherever I live means that somebody else can't live there, which is, like, because I'm in there, isn't it? So somebody's lost out because I'm in there. Somebody's lost out with this car. I'm in this car. But all oh, that, that sort of narrative, that kind of, you know, that negative kind of... Yeah, but of course, I do admit, I mean, obviously prices have gone up. House prices have gone up, but whose fault is it? It's like, you got to take the good with the bad, as well as the other thing. So, like, if you've got to take money from the EU and stuff like that, there's, you know, there's good things about that, but there's also bad things about it. So that applies across the board. Um, you know, like, what I mean is, there's a downside to everything. So, like, so Scotland, without being in the British... the Act of Union and that, it would be poor. So you've got to think about, well, we've got the North Sea oil, blah, blah, blah. No, I mean, they're, they're, they're actually not wanting to drill it. It's around Scotland. Well, I'm starting to rant now. Look, I apologise, Sean. I, I'll stop. Right. I'll try and stop. What the hell's going on here? There's a bus holding up a truck with a trailer. The girl's struggling up the hill there. And, um. I'll try and stop ranting about that. Continue on but A8011. There's a cost to everyone, and, you know. So it's like they're arguing about oil, and it's like, well, wait a minute, but you're not even fucking drilling it now, you bastards. Because you've got this green fucking shit going on. Filled the place up with wind farms. The thing is, you've got to think about, like, who owns this? Do you own Scotland? No, you don't, do you? Do you own the bridges, the roads? No, some corporation owns it. <coughs> um, it's just life. We're all owned. At the roundabout, take the second exit. It's sort of like, Central shut way. up! We sort of, it's kind of that thing about, um, if you use a restaurant, even if you don't like the food, you've got to pay for it. Or something. Well, how it actually works is, oh, look at all these tins there. There's a whole fucking thing of coke lying in lying over there. Did you see that? That's fell off a lorry or something. At the roundabout, take the second exit. The whole thing of coke. Wow. That's, that's incredible. How can, uh, can I can't go and get that, can I? I don't even like coke. What am I, what am I thinking about doing that for when I don't even drink coke? It's like, you can sell it in the market, that's fine. <laughs> but what are you going to get for that? Maybe a five or a tenner? It looks like at least like full tins of coke. It does actually. Yeah. At the roundabout, 
Take the second exit. It's fell off a lot. Way. It's a bit. It kind of. It kind of looks a bit. Going over there could be a bit dodgy. You know. Um, picking that up. Down to this, it's sea far, sea far roundabout is where we're going. Yeah. Take the exit on the left, then enter the roundabout. It's a bit of a like, yeah, you sort of cut across. A bit of a weird At the roundabout, roundabout, take the second exit to Green Falls Road. Yeah, second exit. I mean, if I go and try and pick all the tins up. Um, I'm, I could do it, I could do it actually. Turn left onto Marmion Road, then Unle turn right. Unless it was like, well I think that's as far as we can go now. I thought that was, um, it could have been a load of empty tins, you know, it, it sort of looked a bit funny. Um, so. Um, turn right onto Marmion Road. Right, so, thanks for watching. Uh, bye.